Hey, I'm flipping with David, buddy. This is Sports Side News. I'm the Bork, and this is going to be the next edition of NFL Key Gigantic Moves Made This Far. As we go into some, that's just the title of the video. Not all of these moves in it are necessarily gigantic, but they're just good small moves to very big, nice moves for a team. The Chargers were able to bring back their fullback, Michael Burden. They also signed Austin Johnson, and then the Texans were able to re-sign their center that they hope to continue to get grow Justin Britt and also guard A.J. Khan. They were able to sign. The Steelers also, this is smart to me uh, because, yes, their O-line wasn't the best, but you have to grow these guys. Okafor had, or, or yeah, Okafor, yeah, excuse me. Oh, <clears throat> Okorafor, I guess is how you say that. Okorafor, uh, Chuck, Chuck Wuma Okorafor, uh, he's, ha he's done pretty good. For them, and then Mason Cole, they got them both to three-year deals, so they can continue to develop on the line. I always call him Okafor just because it's a more common name. Okora for though, um, is a solid guy at developing. He's not a great. Neither of those guys are very great or good linemen yet, but they're still developing into their brand, and they've been solid at least as far. So now you, you sign them to continue to grow them with Tomlin and his system, mm -hmm. and now to protect Mitchell Trubinsky. Um, but we'll see what happens there. The Giants. The Giants also were able to sign Robert Foster and re-sign C.J. Board. Both of those guys are more just fifth, sixth receivers that hope to work their way up and become a more maybe at least good fantasy option for some people. But we'll see what they're able to do actually in terms of on the field each week and week out. They're probably more special team guys. And then um, the last two, but not least, to recap this video. Actually, we'll do three to make this just a smaller moves video. The Lions re-signed. Alex Ozalone at linebacker, um, safety Jalen Elliott, linebacker Sean Dion Hamilton, and safety C.J. Moore. So the Lions are going off. Obviously, they're a rebuilding team, so they're keeping guys around so they can continue to build them up and grow their game, hoping they can become more steady, eddy starters in the system moving forward. And then the Commanders re-signed center Tyler Larson, who they hope can continue to develop and potentially be one of the guys to be on the line or rotate into the line at least to protect their new quarterback, Carson Wentz. When it comes to the Browns, we'll end with this one. Was This one's a nice one-year signing of Taven Bryan to add to their defense, can rush a little bit, stop the run. Good D-tackle signing by them, one-year, $5 million by the Cleveland Browns to add to their defense. So this has just been a quick latest video, part two of the NFL key gigantic move made in the offseason this far. The biggest in this video was clearly the Browns signing D-tackle Taven Bryan, but I also like how you're able to have, and also the Panthers releasing A.J. Boy. He's a good cornerback now for somebody else to pick up. But the other moves mm -hmm. I also really liked was just the rebuilding teams like the Lions, just committing to staying with their guys and teams that continue to kind of have that culture of stick with it and try to develop the guys like the Steelers are keeping that and going forward with that. So I do like to see that. So everybody have a great day. today. This has been the latest edition of Key Moves Made Around the NFL Part 2. Peace out, everybody, and please remember to subscribe down below. Up above from each views widget, Divas Drone 215 by the end of the morning.